I will not punish your daughters when they commit whoredom, nor your spouses when they commit adultery, for themselves are separated with whores, and they sacrifice with harlots. Therefore, the people that do it not understand shall fall. So the Most High is saying, yeah, I see it all. I know it all. I know what you, your daughters and your wives are doing. And I'm not going to punish them. I'm going to allow them to do exactly what they want to do. Because you're doing it the same. All the men, all the males of Israel, <laughs> the preachers, the pastors, the teachers, you're committing adultery. For themselves are separated with whores. And they sacrifice with harlots. Therefore, the people that do it not understand shall fall. And so this is the ten tribes of the northern kingdom behaving like this. And Judah is not behind the southern kingdom. And now all of the twelve tribes of Israel are scattered. Because this applies to all of us, all of the twelve tribes of Israel. To this day. But... We still don't know that we are who we are. We're in the land of our captivity. And how did you get in this land? They tell you how you got here. And a lot of y'all don't want to believe that you came here in, in, in captivity. You listen to anything and everything, but what the scripture tells you, what happened to us. It's our history. It tells us exactly who we are. We did, Chosen people of the Most High. Tell us exactly what happened to us. But we still don't want to listen. Still don't want to pay attention. Therefore the people that do it not understand shall fall. So we've fallen. <laughs> we've hit, hit, hit rock bottom a long time ago. <laughs> and still haven't learned. You know they say you make a mistake. You're supposed to learn from your mistake so you don't make it again. We haven't learned. We keep making the same mistakes over and over, generation after generation. Hosea chapter 4, verse 15. Though thou, Israel, play the harlot, yet let not Judah offend, and come not ye unto Gilead, neither go ye up to Beth Haven, nor swear by the Most High that live it. Hallelujah. And so the Most High is warning the ten tribes of the northern kingdom that they played the harlot. And he's warning Judah. You see what's getting ready to happen to the ten tribes of the northern kingdom. Don't you be like them. Don't you offend me. Because if you do, the same thing that's happened to them is going to happen to you. Come not ye unto Gilead. Neither go ye to Beth Haven to swear by the living Father in heaven. Just swear by me with, with your idol, idol worship, with your false worship. And so the Most High warned us. He gave us, oh, hallelujah, he warned us time and time again. But he loved us. And so this is what happened when you don't obey the scriptures, when you don't obey the commandments of the Most High. You're going to be punished. <laughs> Hallelujah. Repent, my people. Turn back to the Most High with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your might. That's the first commandment. Love the Most High with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind. That's all you got to do. Hosea chapter 4, verse 16. For Israel... Slided back as a backsliding heifer. Now the Most High will feed them as a lamb on a large plate. So the ten tribes of the northern kingdom <clears throat> say one thing and do another. Okay, I'm going to change. And then go back and backslide and do the same thing over again. Ever learn and never come into the knowledge of the truth. So the Most High say, I'm going to feed you as a lamb on a large plate. Instead of in a pasture, I'm going to feed you where everything is. It's a large place. You're going to be eating anything and everything. <laughs> Since you don't want to listen, you say you're going to act right, you say you're going to live right, do right, obey the commandments, but you don't. Sliding backwards as a heifer. 
And now that Judah, we're, we've done the same thing. So the Most High had to punish all of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's why we're in the land of our captivity to this day. That's why we've gone through what we've gone through to this day. That's why people have treated us the way they treated us to this day. Hallelujah. Hosea chapter 4 verse 17. Ephraim, joined with idols, has laid stumbling block in his own way. And so the ten tribes of the northern kingdom, they were called Israel or Ephraim. He said they joined with idols. And so this is what they did. And this is what they're still doing. And they put a stumbling block in their own way. It was hard for them to come into the knowledge of the truth because they didn't know what, what truth was anymore. You tell them the truth and they look at you like you're crazy. They couldn't comprehend truth. <laughs> they put a stumbling block in them because they ran down this road of deception, lying and stealing and killing and murdering. They didn't know what truth was anymore. And they join themselves with idols, idol worship, worshiping stone objects and wood, <laughs> iron. And the children of Judah have done the same thing. The Most High warned us. That's what Hosea is about. I encourage you to read this chapter because that's what it's about. The Most High is warning his people. This may be your last warning. Before he comes back. You think you got tomorrow. Tomorrow is not promised to you. If I were you. I would take heed. <laughs> to what the word is saying. Hallelujah. Amen. Hosea chapter 4. Hosea chapter 4 verse 18. He has chosen the Canaanites. They have grievously gone a whoring. They have loved dishonor. Through their insolence, through their pride. They want to do whatever they want to do. This is what the ten tribes of the northern kingdom has done. This is why they were no longer being referred to as Israel or Ephraim. When you get to the New Testament, they don't refer to them as Israel anymore. They're being referred to wherever location where they're living. If they're in the land of Canaan, Canaanites. They're in the land of Rome, Roman. If they're in the land of Samaria, Samaritan. They're in the land of Ephesus, Ephesian. Galatian. Corinthian. Colossians. Thessalonians. Philippians. That's what they're being referred to. The ten tribes of the northern kingdom. They're being referred to as Greeks and Gentiles. They're not being referred to as Israel anymore. They're being referred to by whatever land they're in. They've chosen the Canaanites. They've chosen to act like the other people of the, that land, not like the children of Israel. They're going to whore and have grievously gone to whore. They have loved dishonor through their insolence, through their pride. So whatever the people of the land is doing, that's what they're doing. Whatever that's trending, the end thing, the hip thing, what everybody else is doing, they want to do what everybody, be like everybody else. Hosea chapter 4, 